Hey guys, what's up? I had to make this tutorial. I just learned about something that I didn't even know existed. Okay, this is just proof that I don't know everything. I'm learning all the time, too. Okay, so you know when we're doing masking, and I've had... Oops, wrong button. When I do my intros, I showed you how I made this intro a while back. Well, I wanted to start an effect right at a specific frame in my timeline well here was the problem as I was scrubbing through I'd scrub through scrub through scrub through scrub Wait a minute here. so right there 512 problem is it doesn't affect the event hand comp window Down here. Doesn't affect the event pan crop window. This button right here is called sync cursor. But you click that, it syncs the cursor. Now, there's one problem with this button. Notice when I clicked it, it stayed on. This can get you into a lot of trouble sometimes. Sometimes keyframes will just show up when you don't mean for it. So, what I usually do is I go boop boop, and it does it, and it turns it back off. Now I can go ahead and make my mask without the danger of accidentally making a mistake that I would regret later. So right there. Now again I'll go back to my timeline here and I'll scrub. Oops, too far. So right there, by that point, I want to sync cursor, I want to make the mask a little bigger. Now you could do it this way, or the way I tend to do it, is yes I sync my cursor, but what I'll actually do is with my arrow tool, oops. Make sure you deselect, otherwise you're going to get yourself into some trouble. And then click on the anchors and... And then just pull them out a little bit. Okay, do the same thing back on the timeline. Move it a couple. So like right there, I'd want to sync cursor so that it matches. And I stretch this out the rest of the way. That way, I would not run the risk of making a mistake. Now, because I don't have this on, because I don't have sync cursor on. I can go ahead and make any corrections I need. Remember, two keyframes pretty much right next to each other act like a hold. So if I were to play this, why not play at 100% just because of the screen record. That's all I wanted to show you today. I hope this was useful to somebody. Remember, all we did to find that button was whenever we go into something that's right there, bottom left, sync cursor and turn it on, and then back off. That will sync the cursor to the timeline's position. Well, I hope this was useful to somebody, and I will see you guys in the next video.